If you're thinking about going to Tobago during peak season on a standby ticket, don't. Literally 10 hours later, we finally got a ticket. Pro tip, be prepared for swarms of flies to accompany you to Tobago on Caribbean Airlines flights. We stayed at the Green Palm Boutique Hotel. This hotel is located behind what used to be Shade Nightclub. They even have a spa on the compound. The amenities and fixtures, although outdated, were extremely clean. We even had a balcony and the view, well, see for yourself. The pool is open to guests 24-7. What was available to us was a food inclusive package because they do not have a liquor license. Breakfast consisted of a standard buffet with some nice local dishes. Pro tip, always tip your server. Even if it's an environment where you think, maybe people don't tip here, tip your server. This would not be a Tobago video without some nice Tobago scenery. Enjoy! Breakfast and lunch were served at Green Palm Hotel. Dinner was served at their sister hotel, Shepherd's Inn. Yes, this is Kiss Slice Bread. This all-inclusive meal only included the entree, so any appetizers, drinks or desserts were at an additional cost. I had the coconut rice with steamed veggies and the catch of the day. This was my first time trying diamond coconut flavored rum. Although very sweet, it was absolutely delicious and it didn't leave you with that lingering burning aftertaste.
On the second day, the hotel boxed our lunch for us as we went sightseeing. It was really nice to spend the day at the beach and then come back to the hotel and relax in the pool way into the night. For a Thursday night, Jade Monkey was the only happening spot. It was actually karaoke night. And no, we didn't sing. Dinner ready. On the second night, we opted to have our meal as takeout from Shepherd's Inn. The hotel made for a very private, quiet getaway and the customer service was excellent. At the end of our staycation, we grabbed some iced coffee at Gulf City Mall before heading back to the airport with our standby tickets. Did I mention that you should not go on a standby ticket during peak season? I give Green Palm Boutique Hotel 8 runs out of 10.